So today EA dropped the freeze promo and in this video today we are going to be trying out one of the new cards. We have the freeze Foggen Hazard. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now obviously this card came out alongside a bunch of other pretty cool items so in the comments below I want to hear from you guys which of these players do you want to see me do a video on. There's some pretty cool cards in this release. We've got a striker mana who is probably a bit out of my budget right now but maybe I can try him out. The uh, Bernardo Silva looks really really nice and there's also a Blasty which you can get from a objectives which I will look to get a video out on as soon as possible so uh, yeah let me know in the comments which players you want to do a video on but for now we're going to focus on Fog and Hazard who obviously originally in FIFA is a wide man but um, this freeze item is a striker card so it's a very nice position change and the card looks pretty good to be honest four star four star high medium work rates um, flare tree and also just some really really nice in-game attributes 90 acceleration 87 sprint speed in game it should be pretty quick especially with the hunter chem style we have applied uh, that shooting section looks pretty solid 86 finishing 88 shot power and 90 attack positioning and um, passing looks relatively nice for a forward good shot passing rating of 84 and okay crossing of 83 as well so maybe he could have some use as a wide cam and um, dribbling for most part is very solid too 94 agility is great Great 91 balance, also very nice to see, and 89 in-game dribbling is also great too. 81 composure though is not so great. That is, uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this guy performs under pressure when in-game. Finally, physically, good stamina of 85, and to be fair, decent is strength of 75, so hopefully that holds up quite well in matches. But without further ado, let's just get in some games and let's test this guy out. Game 1 then for the Belgian, and we are up against a pretty standard La Liga side, so... Uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Did not expect to see this team in champs. Foggen Hazard in a bit of space here. Can we get the shot away? Yes, we can. Good save from the goalkeeper, to be fair. Look for break now. Foggen Hazard's got a lot to do by himself, but he's nicked the ball off Carlos there. And now we can continue his run. Oh, man, I just couldn't slide that one through. Could have created a good chance there. Oh, nice. Oh, very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. We'll take full advantage, and Hazard will get his first goal for the club. Oh, Hazard once again closing down and has the chance to make it free and he does exactly that. That was a very tidy finish as well, to be fair to him. Man, eh? He's done well to beat his man. We go early with the cross. We find Hazard who goes with a volley and it's unfortunate we didn't get to see that through. I would love to have seen where that ball would have ended up. Oh, nice. Hazard beats his man with a flick and that's just a great finish. Great power shot across the goal and did really well to beat the would-be defender with a flick as well. Well, at the break, it's uh, it's 4-2. The first half's been a bit of a goal fest. Here's a chance for Mane. Literally needs some support in the box. Hazard eventually arrives and puts it at the keeper. I was actually wondering where the hell all the support was there. Hazard did arrive late, but uh, didn't score. We really should be finishing that chance too. It was a finesse aimed into the corner and went at the keeper, which is uh, unfortunate. Maybe should have gone for the power shot, but I still feel that, that chance should be scored. Makata plays the ball through, and here's a chance as Hazard's got round Diego Carlos. In behind, but he's been forced wide. What can we do here? Chance coming inside with a finesse. Good save from the keeper. There's a chance. Mane whips it in. Chance for Hazard. Hits it on the volley. And hopefully that will be the match winner. And there is the full time whistle. We get the job done with a 5-4 victory. Yeah, we did almost bottle a 4-1 lead, but um, in the end, we won, so that's what matters, right? Um, nice opening performance from Fogg and Hazard, to be honest. Don't think he's the most clinical of forwards, um, not after the first game anyway, but um, got himself into some good areas and uh, created some nice chances, not only for himself, but also others. So uh, overall, very positive opening display. Next game, and we are up against this. Um, yeah, pretty OP team, but um, not an amazing one. Just a bunch of low-rated meta items. So hopefully we can get the win here. Here we go. Ball in to Hazard, who's gotten round uh, Cancelo. Is he going to outpace San Maximum? Uh, probably not, but we're going to have to try because we don't really have too many options. He's doing well to keep possession, to be fair. Finds Pepe, and it's a great goal in the end. Very well set up goal by Fog and Hazard there. Weird lag spike there, that is one of the rare occasions I've experienced that on next gen to be honest. Nakata puts it through for Hazard who's, wow, come away with that, very fortunate, oh, I've bottled it, I have bottled it, I should have gone for the power shot, I saw the keeper come out, he got me, he got me, fair play. Find space, find space, Nakata finds Hazard with a chance, good finesse, brilliant finesse, top corner, rifled in and the keeper given no chance. 
Okay, half time at the break, and I've got to say this game is much closer than I thought it would be. Fair play to my opponent. He's playing well with a team which is, you know, much less than mine. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've had a lot of defending to do. Hopefully, in the second half, though, we can uh, seal this victory. Hazard into the feet of Rashford. He's got a lot of space here. He's going to go for goal himself, and he's going to force a nice save out of Pope. Well, to be honest, not too much to report from the second half. I wish I could have got Hazard a bit more involved, but uh, my opponent defended well, to be fair. Okay, we are up against Ronaldo and Mbappe once more in Weekend League. Chance. Pepe. Here we go. Slides it into Hazard. Hazard! Oh, just couldn't slam that one home. What are we going to do here? Nakata puts in a nice ball in behind. Hazard has got to it, but Alexandra does well to cover. Here's a chance. Mane whips it in, chance for Hazard, and he deals with it as well. Great finish, even while under pressure from Virgil van Dijk there. Great run, got on the end of it, and does his job, puts the ball in the back of the net. Well, 1-1 at the break, pretty tight game to be honest, but um, yeah, it's literally going to come down to whoever takes their chances. That's who's going to win this match. Come on. Do some support. No, that. Oh, there it is as well. And just after half time, we get the perfect start to the second 45. There's been quite a few occasions now where Hazard just hasn't appeared to have been in support, but then he's just popped up out of nowhere very late. Full time here, and Vaughan Hazard once more has got himself on the score sheet, which is nice, but um, yeah, I feel like he could have done a bit more in that game all in all. So now the game's done, it's time to review Hazard's performances, and in the end, I finished uh, with a record of 6 games, 11 goals, and 3 assists, which isn't that bad really it's a pretty good return in champs but uh you guys saw the clips in some games he got a lot of them numbers in others he clearly got none and ultimately that was the case with this card in some games he felt pretty good but in others pretty non-existent and that was kind of frustrating because he clearly is capable but in some games just didn't show it which is uh yeah a bit frustrating to be honest but the card still does have some positives which we will of course discuss but if you want a quick review oh no i think it's a nice fun card i like the novelty of the position change but ultimately is it an amazing striker option no it's a good one but it's definitely not a great one in my eyes so let's break things down what did i like about the item the four star four star is obviously a huge positive i like the fact you've got the option of going off his left foot if you you wish to do so although his right foot obviously is much stronger his shot power was very very good in game he's great for those cross goal shots and uh yeah i thought his finishing was also up to a nice standard when in space anyway this guy went under pressure you can definitely feel like the output whether that be a pass or a shot is effective unfortunately his composure isn't that great at 81 and yeah, you can just feel that, as I say, when you're trying to take off a pass or a shot. 81 Composure definitely isn't terrible, but it's definitely not great for a high-rated forward. So, uh, yes, yeah, something to note there. Now, in terms of positioning, for the most part, I thought this guy was pretty solid, but there were some situations where I felt he was a bit slow to react. So, uh, yeah, that was, once more, a little bit annoying. Um, his pace was pretty solid. Um, obviously, he's not super rapid, but uh, still, he's pretty quick. And the Hunter Kemp style obviously did help out with that, which is nice. I like the passing a lot, and I said, I feel like this guy could play the camera role if you wanted him to do so. If you're going to play him as a cam, probably would go with a different cam style. Maybe something like Engine. But I um, still think he could do a job there. I like his short pass and long passing. And also his crossing was up to a nice standard as well. Dribbling is probably one of the best things about this card. I like the agility. I like the ball control. When in space, he feels absolutely fantastic and very fluid. It's just when under pressure, can come a bit unstuck, unfortunately. And then finally, physically, I actually like the strength. Um, I think you'll have seen if you watch the footage that he wins a lot of duels which is quite nice and uh, thought his stamina held up for the most part as well which was great but in terms of aerial ability there isn't much there so uh yeah all in all i think it's a nice item it's a decent card i don't think it's a brilliant one like i already touched on but um it'll certainly do a job for some people's teams but uh yeah ultimately not a top tier striker unfortunately but i do as i say i do like the novelty of the card i always like position change in forms and the position change promo is always going to get my attention so uh yeah do i think this guy's worth 250k no not really i don't i definitely wait for his price to drop and ultimately that is all i'll say on the matter i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below let me know your thoughts on the item also let me know which other freeze cards I should review. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.